Hello, my name is Jason Renault and welcome back to my last video in this hand-painted book series. Before this video, I finished the last sections of the book which included the side bindings and the gold rivets. For the velvet page holder, I went online and found a nice reference image. Velvet has a strong contrast ratio, and the most saturated red will be right next to the highlight. Again, I'm using the chalk brush at an opacity of 20%. Afterwards, I wanted to add a little bit more detail to the velvet page holder, and to do so, I decided I was going to draw a small section of the pattern with these two shapes, and then applied a bevel and emboss effects to that layer. Afterwards, I duplicated the layer by holding down Ctrl and dragged my pattern a little lower. I then merged the layers by selecting both layers and pressing Ctrl and the letter E. I then press Ctrl plus the letter T to transform and scale the pattern down. I duplicated my layer again by holding down Ctrl and left mouse dragging my layer, and I repeated this process a couple of times until I had a nice long chain. Now I wanted it to be contained in the page holder section only, so I created a layer mask by pressing Ctrl and left mouse clicking on my velvet layer. I duplicated the chain and moved it to the other side. Now on to the pages of the book. I went online and found a nice reference of an old book. I started painting the lines, but then I decided that they were too thick, and so I lowered the size of my brush and used my mouse. If you paint one spot on your layer and then hold shift and click elsewhere in Photoshop, it will make a straight line for you. So I alternated between darker and lighter colors until I had something that looked good on my 3D model. I ended this by painting a light color over it at a very low opacity to lower the contrast, and then I painted a shadow going from the binding section following along the pages just below the top page and here it is the final hand painted book i hope you like it i hope you have learned something if you have any questions or comment please leave them below this is the first series that i've done like this i will be doing more uh, if you have any suggestions please leave them below and i'll see you in the next one